the sea. Calm as a Buddha or with wrinkled brow, cat's pawed or flailed at by the feckless wind, the sea surrounds us. Turn now the inquiring eye to the land's rough edge, to the sea's margin, to the antiseptic, salt-tongued, smothering sea, for the sea's a link, the ship. Yes, wheels are waterborne, and below the hatches is a segment of civilized world, anything from bags of cement to a packet of matches. Seamen adjust their lives, cradled in steel, to the steady pulse of the ship, to curious hours of sleep, to the midnight trick at the wheel. Signed on with wind and the weather, it's not a romantic life, you're a bit of a slave. It's plain, hard, hazardous work to work with a white-coloured wave. Out of board. Out of board. Steady as she goes, steady as she goes. The night long light on the headland. How does it bear? Where bearings intercept is the ship's charted position. And now pen Caddo light, on the port quarter there. Line the ship's head on the magical floating car. Knowledge and skill create a road across the dark unroaded strait. Every shore is hostile, though it's home. South 22 West. South 22 West. now the incense at sea as the round of the bows and the bilge and the hull lift light to a surge that could swallow us all with the lick of a wave. Yes, Skipper. I'll put some extra lashes on the deck cargo. Yes, it just as well looks like it's going to blow hard. I'll go there right away, Skipper. Right now. Got some lovely gloves here. Yeah, soup in your custard and custard in your soup. Uh, what difference does it make? Uh, get out of here. The watch below can take its oil skins off and change its clothes and lay a tablecloth. If ocean's hungry, so are sailors too. There's comfort in a plate of Irish stew. And all philosophy may lie in custard pudding or an apple pie. And more than in the ravenous sea, there's meaning in a cup of tea.
In from the hazardous sea lies the harbor, smooth carpet for keels where peninsula hills cushion the shock of Pacific with rampart of rock. Littleton Harbor, and there are the wharves and the shipping, the produce of factory and farm in a tangle of rigging. The door to an island lies open to ships and the sea. Hello, Jug. There's the papers. We've got 850 tons this trip and a few heavy lifts. 850. Well, we should get you away by Wednesday. From the hold, they lift the hatches, hoist the cargo out in batches. Shifted, lifted, underslung, roped and hooked and steel wire hung, come trucks and lux and tools of trade, motor tires, a dozer blade, breakfast foods and patent ringers, throaties for the throats of singers, a drum of oil, a case of books, this side up and use no hooks, a bale of silk from overseas, bangles from the Bengalese, a case of tea, machinery parts, a box of buttons, sets of darts, things for farmers, things for charmers, a keg of staples, silk pajamas, all are in the hold together, tightly stowed against the weather. Bailed and bailed and bundled and trundled, new cargo reaches the wharf. A ton of spuds of crate of meadows, electric jugs and special haddows, sacks, flax, saddles for hacks, scenic prints for almanacs, nuts, bolts, woolen rugs, bags of barley, bathroom plugs, butchers, skewers, a stove or two, and malt for those who make home brew, a catalogue of general trading written into the bill of lading. It all goes into the hold together, tightly stowed against the weather. Though eyes upon the bridge will never sleep, the ship nods gently. Time to spare. The chief can leave his engines, hearts, not dials. And seamen come off watch, find spare time occupation, things they do at home as the brown coastline slips away a beam. Clouds, clothes, are space hung, like the gull poised effortlessly on the sustaining air. The obsequious foam crawls flattering to the ship and then crawls home. And the dark mountain dances on the blue. Up through the strait, past Terrawhitty Light, past Plymouthton and past Otaki Beach, the long run northward at a good nine knots. The shore has seaward eyes, speaks to the ship from far the winking lamp. Message reads, hurry along breeze, the tide's on the turn, Skipper. Slip down and tell the chief to give her that other knot. Right, Captain. Chief, Skipper wants another knot or we'll miss the tide. Starb at 30. are much the same. Masts, beacons, buoys, a tide that ebbs and floods. On the wharves, the cranes that perch like birds, the railway wagons rolling in slow curves. But cargoes differ. Here goes ashore the cargo from the south, and comes aboard all that one flank of an island produces. And among it is wool, from the lush land, the bush land. Inboard it goes, this cargo coastwise bound to load in other ships that follow the sunset west and away to London, Glasgow, Rotterdam or Brest. In carrying it, the coaster plays its part 
feeding the ships that feed the distant world.